A few weeks ago I started playing around with attaching a wood burning tool to the CNC and I had built a mechanism to give a little bit of spring action there to hold down the wood burning tool. And these results were really cool. I've got another video on this. You can see the individual leaves on here and the details and the numbers. It was really pretty impressive. I was using this wood burning tool with a few different tips and getting those results. And then I started looking at pictures that people were doing with lasers. And I thought it would be kind of cool to do this with a wood burning tool. So I started poking around online looking at pictures and what people have done with pyography. And there's an obscure little program called G-Ray that was on a Russian forum for this stuff. And there's a guy that wrote the software. And what it does is it just takes your picture, creates it into a raster image, and then speeds up or slows down the tool as it goes back and forth. My first few results were pretty bad. This was using the original wood burning tool with some different tips and it was just digging in and making some nasty burns but you could start to see as it speeds up and slows down how it's how it creates the image and then i changed also with that same wood burning tool to a tip that was more rounded and then we could start to see the image coming out you can see the eye you can see some of the hair and then i switched over to a different wood burning tool that had a much finer tip on here and then we started getting some cool results so you can see more of the eye you can see more of the hair in there another cool thing about using the wood burning tool going back and forth compared to the laser is you can get some real interesting tonal changes and it's got a whole lot of subtle tones in there that can be a little challenging on the cheap lasers the difference between these two tools is the yellow one has a little bit more control. And one of the problems I was having with the small one, even though we had the dial on the top, which worked great for the stuff on the other side of this board, um, but for the photos, it needed to really stay at the same temperature. And this would kind of wobble up and wobble down. And that's why we had these shifts here, because it would get real hot, and then it would cool down a little bit, and get hot and cool down a little bit for the yellow one here with the bigger transformer box that's the one that this was done we still had a little bit of it on the bottom but then it kind of found its temperature and stayed put the line here i'm thinking is just my cnc which is not perfect and i think the little wire here the nichrome got a little bit stuck and didn't find its next path on the other side but as far as the wood burning tool it stays at the same temperature as it goes back and forth. The only thing that changes is how long it stays on the darker parts of the picture. This is the software. It's really kind of simple. It's a little, little basic because it's sort of a beta project, but it's free. And the only thing that you really have to mess around with is how fast the blacks and the whites are, how fast it goes through the darker parts of the image, and the white parts of the image. You just open up a bitmap, bring it in, the picture will show up here. Choose whether you want it to be zigzag back and forth or whether you want it to go one way. I'll repeat the lines. This software also works with lasers. Um, I've not played with that yet, but there are some settings for runout for, for laser usage. But once you've set this up, save the G code, run it over to mock, and give it a shot. I'll put a link in the description on where this was found. And good luck. Thanks very much for taking a look.